Hundreds of meals were dished out at Lake City Senior Center in Coeur d'Alene this Thanksgiving. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl spent part of the day there. And Tanya, it started out small, but the, the tradition has just exploded. It has, Robin. It started out with 20 volunteers and about the same number of dinner guests. This year, 90 volunteers helped dish out hundreds of meals, and there were smiles all around. No detail is missed at this dinner table, from candles to homemade rolls to heaping plates of Thanksgiving goodness. I greet them, I hug them, I shake their hand, I make them feel wanted. Then there's a tableside service where volunteers take your order and drop off a plate just how you like it. And then yams and corn. We'll put a little gravy on everything. Yeah. But Thanksgiving Day wasn't always like this at Lake City Senior Center. Just ask veteran Rusty Reyes and his daughters Carmen and Tessa. He's been volunteering here for 12 years and remembers when this dinner first started. It was probably 35, 45, 50 people. And as it's evolved and now it's here, it's just gotten so big and it's, uh, it's a happening now. At noon, I want to have two big pots of gravy, okay? A decade and a half ago, Michael Hillicoss and his wife Vicki searched for somewhere to volunteer and came up empty-handed. We tried to find places to serve, soup kitchens, VFWs, and we found out that there was no place in Coeur d'Alene that served uh, on Thanksgiving Day, so we started serving. How about a piece of pie? Twelve years later, now fully supported by the city of Coeur d'Alene and local donations, this is where anyone can come and feel at home. If you can't make it, Meals on Wheels will bring dinner to you. A lot of people are out of uh, work and need something to eat, and it's nice to do that. Year after year, the army of volunteers grows. So many people wanting to help, they're actually turned away. But if you're hungry, there's plenty of food, even for seconds. We send everybody home with to-go to go meals because it's not Thanksgiving unless you can have a turkey sandwich later on. And organizers say 587 meals went out this Thanksgiving. And if you'd like to volunteer or make a donation next year, just call 509-226-3208. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.